So here you have the reference, um, the, the array size, and if you remember in 1436, uh, all, um, all arrays are basically uh, reference parameters. So reassigning arrays references with this, what does this mean? You mean you can write to an array, put it back, read from array with it. I remember in Java and C++ in 1415, we had that ampersand next to the data type after the data type with it. An array reference can be assigned by another array of the same type. So you create an array reference by the number array with this thing. So here, you can actually use this array reference by a number of variable with this. I mean, this this array is a reference by this new int 10 array that you can actually assign to the new number. Now, this number, you reassign the number to a new array. So this is how you can assign the first 10 element will no longer be a reference to it. It will be basically it's what's called the garbage collected with this as well. So reassigning array, so you can actually take that 10 that you reassign in here is the number. Now it has the new, the number of variable holds an address of that int array with the same. Really good depiction is how you can actually, the old 10 array gets the mark as the garbage collection. And so this one is the new t five, this is the new number address with the same. Copying arrays with the same. So you can't really assign, you can't do array one equal array two like you did over here. This doesn't work, it doesn't copy like that. You have to use what's called a reference parameter to hold that array, reference address to actually copy this array. Let's take a look at that same array dot, kind of dot Java. This is the one that same array. So you have, here's your first array, right? And you, uh, what you're going to look at is you're going to take this array, and this is this array, you're going to actually assign it to array 2. Now, change one of the elements by using array 1 is, this is by putting in 20, 200, it's going to replace this 2 right here. Change one of the elements using array 2 with this thing. So this is this array 2, which is 4, so you count 0, 1, 2, 3, four and you're going to put in this 1000 in place of this 10 right here so when you actually print this out when you look at same array and when you print this out what do you think this is going to come out as the same array when you print this out with the same so when you print this out you print your first array out it's going to have what 200 and this one's going to be with a 1000 so both of these output that when you first process this, this is going to be the first array. It's going to have that out. And the second one's going to print the same thing as what you just assign it to. Um, the, 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 the 200, 4, 6, 8, and 1000. Okay. So that's that one with it as well. So they're talking about copying arrays and, and what's actually taking place in the, in the copying of the arrays with it. Um, so com the other part I want to talk to you about is the, hold on a second here, I just skipped a slide or so. So that was copying an array. The second one is passing an array element to a method. All right, let's take a look at that one with it. So when you, when a single element of an array is passed to a method uh, that is actually like another variable, you pass an element, uh, basically you're passing one array inside of another array with it. More often you want to write the method to process the array processing, passing the entire array. Not just one element, this is very crucial. Let's take a look at passing element with this thing. So here's passing an element to the array. You have your number array and passing each of the element shows the value of the method with this. So this number is this number right here, right? And this zero, this i is zero, and then you're going to look at this number dot length returns the size of that array. Remember that. So what's the size of this array right now? You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So basically this will be a number eight right here. i is less than eight, whatever i is zero, and it's going to post increment, etc., etc. right? So when you look at passing an element across with this thing, and when you come across 
when you output this thing is you're basically going to output the same thing as these arrays that that's what you're trying to show right the next part I want to talk to you about is passing an array as an argument as a method for this thing this is this is getting a little deeper you're writing public static void show array this is the name of the class and you're passing across is the array in this thing this array happens to be uh, the address of the memory address of this thing so you can actually pass across the memory address of the whole pass array with it okay um, comparing arrays with this thing I think this is a really good one to actually look at anytime you compare if you remember the equal equal is an operator determines whether the array reference point do not array uh, not point to this uh, array objects so when you compare let's take a look at the two arrays that you have right here and of course you have a boolean that is array is equal true if it's true it's going to be arrays equal with this thing and uh, i is declared as zero in this case with as well so if you look at this loop right here this is if you think of this while loop this is basically your initialization right so which one is your loop control variable if you look at it uh, your loop control variable is your array equal okay this one right here this is your loop control variable in this thing so looking at this first array length not equal to second array length with the same so this is length I don't know I'm looking at this thing it has the length of what five five so they are not equal it does five equal to five is that true okay so it's false with it so I'll come in here array equal and then I'm going to come I is what zero less than array length is what so remember this is an and in order for this to be true both of these statements has to be true you agree so array equal in this case is going to look at it um, what is it set to it's set to skips out of here the array equal is true here this is true and this is true you enter this loop right here so this is how it's going to compare this algorithm where it's going to compare both of these if it's not equal to one another then it's going to be coming out of false with this thing and then you update your i in your loop with this thing which is this okay so this is your loop control variable that actually determine the number of iterations for the same and then you go through the second iteration it will tell you if it's whatever this is flag as array equal this will actually flag it as a true or false with the same okay so uh, this will compare the arrays a great algorithm for you to actually see what's going on with this thing let me take you to take another look for use for arrays operations for this thing so finding the highest value you, you, got, you have to give a number to the array uh, number with this thing and you assign the highest with the first value and then you compare it you go down each one in this and you compare the length and you compare to the first element is it the first one highest and then and then you increment the other one is find the lowest one for this thing assign it to the lowest and then you move compare one container to the next container with that as well the other option is if you look at the uh, another useful array operation is how you sum an array element with the thing really good way how to figure out the total sum you have to initialize the total is zero as the accumulator remember how you, how you add things to an accumulator with this thing so you add a container that you add 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 uh, to that container with this an array element same thing you actually have to add to the array element for this at the same time so um, coming down here to the partial array fill with this thing uh, typically known as if the amount of the data of the array must hold is unknown you, if you let's say you don't know the array size of the size of the array to the large expected number of elements so if you had to guess for example um, you know and what if you don't fill half of it again this is all about memory management for this at the same time use a counting uh, variable to keep track of how much valid data is in the array so if you look at this array of array and you gave it a size of a hundred and you start to count as zero 
and somewhere in here that if you use a flag um, to actually to type in a negative because arrays can't be negative right so you plug in a negative thing you will input a number in a keyboard where previously declared as the keyboard reference as the scanner object this will flag this to make this to be a false and will exit this loop with it as well arrays and files with this thing so arrays and files that saving a content with this array okay let me stop right here